rest easy, man. You know I still got your back, no matter. When it all floods in, this strong emotion. Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is message 599. The name of our devotional today is The Will to Run the Race. But first, let us pray. My Lord God, thank you so much, my Father, that you renew our strength every day. Thank you, my God, that by your presence we can say that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Thank you so much, my God that you renew our strength, our youth as an eagle, God. Thank you that by your stripes we are healed, God. Thank you so much, my Lord, for your grace and your mercy, your love. Thank you as we receive, my Father, everything that you have for us, every gift, my God. Thank you so much, my Lord, for who you are. Thank you for blessing us, my God. Thank you for defending us, God. Thank you for every protection that you provide even when we don't see it god thank you so much my lord in the name of jesus in your name we pray amen the will to run the race the scripture reading is hebrews 12 1 through 2 and it reads therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that is so easily entangled let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Christian life is often compared to a race, one that requires endurance, focus, and determination. The writer of Hebrews encouraged believers to run this race with perseverance, urging us to cast off anything that hinders our progress and to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the ultimate example of endurance and faith. Running this race is not just about the strength of our legs, but the will to keep moving forward no matter what the obstacles we face. Living out our Christianity is not an easy assignment. Even the simple, everyday graces, such as patience and forgiveness, are challenges. Yet scripture encourages us to stay at it like a runner, who endures to win. Hebrews 12.1 pictures us running in a Roman arena filled with a great cloud of witnesses. Looking ahead, the track is an obstacle course. Full of pitfalls, we see more buffetings than blessings and say, I can't do this, not me, Lord. But our eyes glimpse at the crowd that fills the arena, and they have all finished triumphantly by faith. Joseph and David and Job and Moses and all of the other um, prophets like Jeremiah and Isaiah they all have finished the race triumphantly. The passage encourages us to throw everything off that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, just as a runner sheds unnecessary weight to run more effectively, we must identify and remove anything in our lives that slows us down or distracts us from God's purposes. 
This could be sins, unhealthy habits, negative attitudes, or even relationships that pull us away from God's path. Removing these hindrances allow us to run more freely and with greater focus. Running the race requires perseverance, especially when the course is difficult. There will be moments of exhaustion, discouragement, and temptation to quit. But they who run the race comes from a deep commitment to finish well, knowing that God is with them, with us every step of the way. Perseverance is fueled by our trust in God's promises and our desire to honor him with our lives every single day. The key to enduring and completing the race is to fix our eyes on Jesus, who ran his race with perfect faith and obedience. Jesus endured the cross because of the joy that was set before him, the joy of accomplishing God's will and bringing salvation to humanity. When we keep our focus on Jesus, we are reminded of his love, his sacrifice, and the strength he provides to keep us running. He is our ultimate example and source of inspiration. The great cloud of witnesses refers to the heroes of faith mentioned in Hebrews 11, as well as the countless believers who have gone before us. Their lives testify to the faithfulness of God and the possibility of finishing the race well. Their examples encourage us to keep going, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. We are part of a larger story of faith that spans generations. And so we run, shedding the sin and the circumstances that distract us. We join the regenerations of the faithful and pray for grace to finish well. David Livingston, a pioneer missionary who walked more than 29,000 miles through Africa, who faced stiff opposition from his Scottish brethren, wrote, Send me anywhere, only go with me. Lay any burden on me, only sustain me. Sever me from any tie except the one that binds me to your service and to your heart. Do you tend to focus on the obstacles that you have in your life, or do you focus on Christ? Reflect on the race that God has set before you. Are there things in your life that are hindering your progress or entangling you in sin? How can you remove these obstacles to run more effectively? Consider the importance of perseverance in your faith journey and how can you keep your focus on Jesus, drawing strength from him to continue the race. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for this message. Father God, thank you, my Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for the race that you have set before us. Each one of us has a race. Each one of us has a cross. Each one of us has lessons that we must learn upon this earth, my Father. Thank you, my God. We ask you for strength and perseverance to run the race well, throwing off anything that hinders us and keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, your precious Son. Help us to stay focused on your purposes for our lives, even when the race is difficult. May we be inspired by the example of Jesus and the faithful witnesses who have gone before us. Strengthen us, my Father, so that our will is to run with endurance, trusting in your grace to carry us to the finish line. In Jesus' mighty, precious name. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine and dance in the rain. Remember, God loves you so very, very much. Until we meet again, God bless you.